Hello and welcome back to another video where today we're going to check out the new AMD Adrenaline 24.2.1 preview driver. Now this ad supports for Helldivers 2 which has had some issues on AMD cards and we're going to check out to see if there's any improvements in performance, in stability because there's been some game crashes and that sort of thing. This video will focus on the 7900 XDX at 4K and 1440p and 6800 XT on the next video and we'll compare the 24.1.1 current drivers with the 24.2.1 preview drivers that will eventually become the recommended drivers down the line so let's check it out initiating ftl jump to the turing system jump complete we're going to begin with the 7900 XTX, and I'm going to try to keep this video as short as I can. Chapters will be marked for you guys if you want to skip around and look at whatever you're interested in. But we're going to check out 4K native on a planet. I had to play this single player for the most part just because the servers were down this morning and I couldn't really find people, although there is a bit of a multiplayer uh, gameplay. But we're going to start with 4K native solo. Now we're going to begin with the settings like we usually do and this like I said will be 4k native with all the settings maxed out on the 7900 XTX uh, and I have to say that overall this preview driver has kind of been a, a sort of a mixed bag but I would say it is an improvement uh, overall and as far as performance goes we know that AMD was a bit behind in this game uh, versus NVIDIA seemed to have a bit of an advantage as far as uh, FPS performance uh, and this preview driver doesn't seem to have improved that uh, any I don't think as a matter of fact if you look at my footage it's almost like the preview driver averages and 1% lows are a little bit lower but I don't think there's been any regression in performance I think what it is is that uh, like I've explained in my previous videos is that the gameplay is very dynamic here. Even if you're playing solo and choosing the same exact planet, uh, the spawn of different uh, creatures can be different in different games. Uh, it's all sort of random, right? Uh, you can you can die, you can get uh, surrounded, and that will affect the performance as well. So based off my experience, looking at the game on the 7900 XTX and 6800 XT, I can't say that I've seen any performance gains, if I'm being honest, but stability though, that was actually, uh, uh, that was improved. We'll get on 1440p, but this is about 10 minutes of gameplay that I did on this planet at 4K native, and if you look at the averages 1% lows, they're not really all that different, and like I said, it's because the gameplay is a bit different on both, and it's not exactly the same. Although it does look like the performance is a bit lower on the preview driver, but I think it's just because of the differences in the mission and the performance is more or less the same. So that's kind of unfortunate that we didn't see any uh, performance gains. At least I didn't. Now we'll take a look at 1440p on the same planet, same exact mission. All we did was drop the resolution down, still keeping the same settings uh, all the way up. And... In here, actually, by the end of the run, we end up getting uh, pretty much very matching performance. And if you were to look at the gameplay, it's very similar uh, as far as uh, the action on the screen. So, again, I personally did not notice any performance gains. The 1% lows are actually still very good, like they were before. Uh, the biggest improvement uh, that I've seen with the 7900 XTX, at the very least, was that... I didn't get any crashes at all and I played a bunch of games on the preview driver whereas before I had to turn the global illumination screen space global illumination off as was suggested by a few uh, of my viewers and I've, it's also something I've heard online that it does seem to help it also helped a friend of mine who has a 7900 XD I've been playing with and she hasn't got any crashes since uh, uh, she changed that as well but we're gonna check out 4k on a multiplayer game i end up finding somebody and we played a 4k game as a matter of fact on the next planet where i played with somebody i kept crashing with the current 24.1.1 drivers until i disabled screen space gi i was crashing before the pod hit the ground at the beginning of the mission every single time until i disabled screen space global illumination 
But on the preview drivers though, I never crashed. Even with screen space global illumination enabled, I never had a single crash. But yeah, let's move on to the multiplayer game at 4K on a different planet. Begin by showing the settings like always, and we're running the game again at 4K native. And this is a different planet, Dropnir, which is a little bit more green. There's a little bit more flora and, and, and grass and that sort of thing. But uh, the performance wise, it seems to be the same. Now you'll have to take my word for it. But like I mentioned earlier was I crashed every time the pod was about to touch down from launching the mission. My game would crash every single time until I disabled the screen space global illumination on the current 24.1.1 driver. But with the preview driver, it didn't crash at all. And I tried it on multiple different planets. Now for the sake of parity, I did turn global illumination off for this comparison just so that because I was curious about the performance and I don't personally actually get to look at how the performance differs until I edit the video because I'm capturing all this footage and I try to capture it in the same areas. It's not until I edit it and I look at it side by side uh, that I can kind of uh, examine it a bit more closely and, and sort, sort of give my thoughts about it. Uh, but just playing the game, I did not feel like there was much of a difference between the two drives. And looking at it now, as you can see, I know on the preview, the driver preview side, it's a bit lower on the averages and 1% lows. But I personally think it's just the differences in the in the mission. And uh, it's, it's just a different side of the planet. One is uh, nighttime, one is daytime. That's why the footage looks a bit different. So I don't know. I mean, maybe it is that the performance got worse. I... I find that kind of hard to believe, but I would have to say that it's the same and it's just differences in mission and NPCs that are changing the numbers. We'll take a look at 1440p real quick in the same planet continuing this mission and it's uh, more or less more of the same. Let's go through the settings first. So we know we're on the same page, 1440p native, maxed out settings. And yeah, guys, uh, Definitely improvements in stability, performance is more or less the same. I, I don't think there's really much else uh, to add on to this. Um, the 6800 XD video I'll be doing uh, after this one is a bit more interesting. And for anyone that's curious, I will actually be looking at 4K as well and different uh, quality render scale settings as well. And we'll check out some of the different um, graphical settings as well see if we can gain some more performance that way but I did run into some awkward and weird issues uh, with the new driver on the 6800 XD maybe maybe it'll uh, need a bit more refinement but I actually never had any crashes on the 6800 XD when I tested it uh, when the game first came out I never actually experienced any crashes and it was the same I didn't experience any crashes with the preview driver and running this the benchmark again with the 6800 XT again this time. So for me, the 6800 XT has been great. Actually, you can actually squeeze a 60 FPS experience. And I'm actually checking out one of the more demanding planets uh, on that one as well. So I wanted to be a bit more thorough on that. But as far as the 7900 XTX, where I had many crashes and so did many other people, with the preview driver, at least with the 7800 X3D and my hardware, the game ran perfect i never had a single crash the one percent lows were great and that's kind of what matters i do wish they'd been able to optimize the game a bit more but you know it is what it is the game still runs very well on uh, amd gpus but that'll be it for the 7900 xtx guys tune in for the 6800 xt and like and subscribe if you so choose to thanks for watching Bye bye